Welcome back. If you just join us on the Good Morning Niger show, and yes, we still stay here. Uh, if you just join us again, you don't already miss our top to this segment. You also miss our newspaper headline review. So I go just tell you on tour again. I don't say this show na seven to nine. So they miss you don't they miss you go. But you're there in time for our very first interview. And um, if I Oko will be event planner day inside studio here with me. Uh, you know, say with uh, gist of uh, whether lockdown go day, you know, go day, even when it be in day, um, rules and regulations been come out. Um, turn up events been turned down because uh, who won't gather? I mean, people won't gather. You know, say the more the merrier. You know, of course, they can't do party only 20 people days. They're going to give ourselves space. You know, they sweet. You know, people call they do weddings uh, online as well and things like that. So, we could look at this event planning business. Money still day inside. Um, and if opportunity still day, how event planners uh, suppose try manage this period? I'm waiting for you to inside to tell us if you how you do. I'm very All right, it's say, well. I mean, say you join us this particular morning. Maybe we look at this event planning matter. Yeah. Uh, that time when we said they be announced that lockdown last year. Yes. Uh, make everybody day house, uh, weddings come be like say, Mom, you sit down to my mind side part house and I go just join in ourselves, pass a good day, and I'll give her your own food and rice. Everybody they go your own corner. Yeah. How that matter take first hit that sector, event planning? Yeah, I mean, like everyone else, it was shocking to everyone. I mean, I'm sure every industry, you know, felt it largely. Well, we didn't have a choice. You know, we had to what what can we do? What can we do to move on? Because Nobody expected it or, you know, so... an event plan, what did you do to move on that time? I, I had to go back to the drawing board. Okay. I had to re-strategize. Okay, so what is happening? What is an event? How can we make or create an event? And then there was the virtual option, mm -hmm. you know, so we moved there, you know, and as things got better, we got to now, um, there were guidelines and precautionary measures, so we're able to move on. But that virtual matter, IP. Make her understand how that matter be because I mean now <laughs> virtual. Uh, we maybe say we maybe say we won't marry. We don't already pick where we want to. Maybe now our garden or our backyard when they go outside. Uh, Zoom, everybody they want to give person link, link content to invitation card. Not being yeah. obviously they go contact join. Uh, and also some places where I've been see, I've seen me see balloons day. As yeah. they say photographer being day. Mm -hmm. Some people still arrange table down. So then be required on our services for that time. I be me say. Family members can't look inward, draw out their inner talents. People still need you that time, especially when they come online. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the thing is, usually some people feel like they don't need event planners, and that's okay. If you're okay. very capable of doing it, then that's fine. But those that knew what they wanted, mm -hmm. they said, oh, no, 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 of course. After all, um, events still happened mm -hmm. um, virtually, so mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you don't even have um, your client with you um, in that same space, so you have to talk, maybe phone conversations. So yeah, so some people still got event planners to do the job for them. And yeah, of course. Right, but clearly, it affect the demand. Oh, of course, for event definite, planning definitely at that time. Okay, uh, what could they look at this matter? Don't they be now? Um, you bless say they be ease. Let me say the blessed they ease lockdown. Yes. Um, now government when they shout, say people not they adhere, yeah. and um, then they threaten say second lockdown feed day. Yeah. Do they talk about the fact say another strain don't enter? Because I know say when they ease and wedding still in the, I see they see wedding yes. on the happen. Yes, all the rush. So many things can they happen. So now with this new awareness, if they don't enter now, and this new threat, the possibility of another lockdown, if people don't really adhere, yeah. how this particular sector, they position themselves for waiting one come? Which lesson? People say 2020 na test. <laughs> Say 2021, not the main exam, nothing will come as a shocker um, right now. So yes. make it, how, they, how they don't position themselves to manage them? Good. So let's say that was the lesson and this is the exam mm -hmm. indeed. So now you have seen it all. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. You know, so as an event planner, rather, you have to understand crisis management. So that's basically all that knowledge you need now to put to practice. So now go back to your drawing board and just re-strategize. You know, what can you do with what you have? What do you have? Make use of it. Okay. If you're not learning how to go the virtual way, um, say you have all the knowledge or you think you're um, capable of teaching people, then do that. You know, some people are um, new to the industry and want to come on board. So maybe take online classes. There's too many things to so do. So what do you go on teach person now about event planning under COVID-19 pandemic. When they talk about, say, this is now, it be like, that the new normal now. Yes. You know, is, if this particular virus will pass, and now if we enter, because you think, you know, WHO, they talk now, they say, make the fear, or rather the concern, not be say, which virus they come, mm -mm, mm. virus will ever come. Yes. The matter be say, how prepared uh, yeah. you day, you know, to manage that virus. So if would they even want to give out lessons now on issue of event planning, uh, would they go to 
you know, event planning um, pre-COVID yes. or event planning post-COVID yes. or COVID. Mm -hmm. So how, which one we want me to begin to teach people now? <laughs> all of it. Okay. They should just start the before the after. They should do all of it. Mm -hmm. And most especially now, move to the tech industry. Mm -hmm. Learn to be tech savvy because that's the way, you know, you're creating um, digital content now. So learn how to do that. Acquaint yourself with the, all the um, necessary measures because once this thing goes away and it will go away, there's the rush. Everyone who was on hold or uh, uh, postponed their um, events would, you know, start it up and then we move. So, all right. Yeah. So, you know, say before, uh, before this COVID 19 matter being entered, it gets things where we say, won't happen. We we'll say if people not did it, not be they successful. Mm -hmm. Where they where the success, but a number of people won't be say show yeah. up. Uh, weddings, for yes. instance, conferences, for of instance, um, concerts yes. um, as well, award ceremonies yes. um, also follow. But let's say as things been there now, everything on the enter that whole digital yes. matter. Just to ask, you get any event where you feel say this new normal go affect badly or really affect badly when we say you don't it could just enter extinction. You know if it happen anymore. You get any event where we say, you know, online, you know if you judge the success when it enter online. Yeah, maybe now those conferences maybe. Now they okay. see that it's not every time we oh, meet it by it's everyone will hurry. Mm -hmm. Now we can do it over the phone. There's different um, platforms we can mm -hmm. use now. So yes, all those high numbered events, you know, especially now, it's not um, as feasible, you know. So yes, yeah, so those ones will just. So it's not the end of the game for any kind of event. There's no, no. kind of event that cannot thrive, Still, yes. you know, digitally, right? Definitely, Online, is it? Yes. Okay. So let me say, you know, hope day. Of course. Be that for that particular um, matter. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, person will be saying, put here, be say, um, how big events like comedy, music, concerts, go they plan? We don't already see that one. I mean, yeah. they BET the other day. Of course. And it's major, you know, I never believe I'm saying, if it happen, <laughs> say one anchor go just day one corner where she day, the artists then did their different houses, yes. you know, then give you their performance, or then they for one corner for studio, do their own matter, then play them yes. um, on air as well. And you don't already answer that question to say, you know, nothing will be saying, not fit. Yes, um, every, you know, anything is possible right thrive at the right, moment yes. we can ask this question um as people to talk say what's going to happen i don't bring in the, the new normal you feel say if government announced today say okay lockdown don't delete it yeah. right um covid19 matter is out of the way vaccines don't they yes um if they say make people resume life as they did before yeah you feel say event planning will go back to the old way or you feel say your clients their eye don't open onto how much money they save when they organize their events online where see they successful. So do you think people are gonna come back to how things were before? Or everybody will say, I beg, make we save our money, COVID don't show us way. The truth is nothing beats the physical. Everyone wants to be present. So whether they feel like that or not, maybe a, a couple of people might, you know, but then others want the present. There's that feel, nothing beats it. So I'm sure they make the right decision. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying clearly, you know, um, hopefully post-COVID, yes. business today for event planning. Definitely. You know, and stuff. Like, you already mentioned something very key for this interview. You talked to many people go begin to teach. Yes. And people also begin to learn. Yes. Um, how event planning been day in the past. Yes. How event planning day now yeah. under this whole pandemic. And possibly how you go day even afterwards. Yes. Um, as well. But you did very optimistic. Yeah, of so course. people you have to be. won't rush yes. that whole crowd oh, they um, will. matter. Because clearly now where your um, you know uh, where are they making our money from yes. to put um, so we have to be hopeful places together. Yes. So but you what you feel you feel say time will come up so we're gonna discuss this thing in past tense. Definitely. I mean it's happened before, you know, so it will definitely go away. Right. With time it will. Okay. So everyone just needs to stay, you know, hopeful and positive, most especially. All right, but at the same time and um, patience too. You get what you also talk before the show, say make small backup day. Back up in the sense when we say make all attention on those day on only event planning, yeah. begin to diversify. No, oh, they, yes, they have okay. to. You have to. I mean, look for other means still in that sphere. Yeah, there's, um, there's, there's always a way. Make I ask you a question. For this event planning, we say don't enter online. Talk me through um, opportunities when still day, right? For yeah. the online matter as an yeah. event planner. So there's, um, there's, classes you can take online you know and the tech industry now they're doing so great i mean you could teach no, 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 even talk on the sense of say 
person call you now and say, okay, yes. uh, my daughter is getting married. Yes. Do you get my point? Um, or you hear say a person picking one marry. Yeah. yeah. And an event planner, you don't already understand, say, they don't get planned to gather a crowd. Yeah. They won't do them online. So basically, your services are somewhat limited, as it be. Or maybe not. I know that the industry, let me kind of ask mm. you, say, okay. so on a, on a typical wedding, where a person won't do, and they won't do them online, which opportunities day for an event planner? So there's... Firstly, event planning is a process. Okay. You don't just, oh, today, I want to, tomorrow is done. Mm -mm. Clearly. There's the selection phase. Maybe you do the selection of the vendors. There's the back and forth. Oh, what's the venue? Now you're doing it online. By the way, there's, there's not to say events can't happen. Okay. There's just a limited um, number of guests now. Allowed. So, yes. So uh, whichever your client decides, you work with that. So there's that entire process of the back and forth, maybe uh, video calling your client, explaining this, that, until the very day, get a um, tech team on standby for the um, streaming and all of that. Um, whatever um, um, link you're using may be sent to the um, guests now attending the event. And on that day, it goes smoothly after selecting all your vendors and everything just works in time. So it's the back and forth. That's what most people don't... Um, no, you know it's an entire you know, process. Me, for me now, I they paint worst case scenario. I they yeah. paint, paint worst case scenario. We say government will just announce like next week, say total lockdown. Say maybe the new strain from the UK don't enter Nigeria. <laughs> yes. We cannot, you know, manage this matter. Everybody remain where you are. Yeah. But of course, people who want to get married go still want to get married. People who say want to do birthday go still want to do birthday. Yeah. Now, because when you talk about issue of vendors, and they want that, okay, vendors us to supply you what? Because like I talk, I'm saying, if I want day inside my living room, yes. organize my own ceremony yes. as it be, right? What services will you be offering me? in that kind of minimal situation? What opportunities are there? Still the vendors. Okay. Because I'm sure oh, there's music. Maybe you want maybe um, someone to host the event. There's still an MC, you know, so you've gotten that vendor. Then food. I don't know that you want to cater for that yourself. Then maybe you get the food vendor, the drinks, someone to supply that. Even the souvenirs, you know, the, so there's these uh, different things that you can help with. You know, so and coordinating. Be, people have to be the person who say go they drop the souvenirs for people houses because also nobody attend. Yes. And when yes. you talk about food, now just the husband, wife, papa, family, yes. mama, family, maybe just two, two people from each family. Now they just day yes. inside the room. Also, you could even do the takeaway and then send to the guests online. Okay. You have all the addresses. People so. see they do that one. Oh yes, they still cook food, send give person. Oh yes. People we get money for that. this country. People do but if you say as for COVID, don't call me better. You'll save your food, you know, buy a cow. Uh, people buy, like, do that. that kind of three chicken. Even with the service. They don't do. Oh, they wow. Do. Yeah, they do. They have delivery services. Those ones even need some, you know, some good, some no, good delivery guys. And then they run the industry this period. Yeah, that so, is so it works. Time. All right, then. Yeah. So, Fanyoko, thank you so much. Very optimistic. You're welcome. Um, Gives again for inside studio today. She'll be event planner. If you don't hear her talk, you understand. So she really understands how this industry they run. Yeah. And she don't talk and say, whether well, lockdown set tomorrow, I'll be not set. Say, so work still there for events event planners to do, but at the same time, make you try to diversify, also train, uh, so you go feed them, they're updated as to waiting that particular sector will demand under a pandemic. Thank you very much, um, Ifani, for your time.